woodworking projects around your house, you can never have too many clamps. That's right, Danny. In this case, we're using pipe clamps to join together three boards to make a wide panel. Now, you'll notice what I've done here is I put two clamps underneath the panel and one on top. That's to distribute the pressure evenly and prevent it from bowing the panel. Now, that works fine on a small project like this, but what about a big door? How can you handle that? Well, I'll show you. Give me a hand moving this out of the way. The great thing about pipe clamps is that it's really easy to extend the capacity. All you need to do is slide off the tailstock and then thread on a coupling. In this case, we have a three-quarter inch coupling. And then you just buy an extra section of pipe. You put the pipe right in there. Okay, let me help you out here. Well, really, with this method, you could continue extending this just as long as you yeah, as just, long as you want to. Just keep adding pipe sections, and just slide that back on. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, we've doubled the capacity of the clamp. Now, what about the galvanized? Why galvanized? Most of my pipe clamps are all black iron. Yeah, you're right. I prefer black iron myself, but this was galvanized, and that's all they had at the hardware store, so I picked it up. You usually spend about a dollar for the coupling, and a 30-inch section of galvanized pipe costs about 4 or $5. In black iron, it would only be about 2 bucks. Now, with this 3 quarter inch pipe, is good for the heavy-duty projects. It's also available in half-inch, but either way, for just a few dollars, you've doubled the capacity of your pipe clamps.